So here we're asked to find the area under this curve. Now it's given as an absolute value. And I'm going to first qualitatively draw out, draw what this parabola looks like. If you factor this to find the roots, you'll see it's 2 and 4. So if we draw this, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's upward opening. So I'm not looking at the absolute value right now, so just looking at what this parabola would look like. And the axis of symmetry goes through 3, 0, the midpoint of these two intersections. So they're asking for the area of the absolute value, which means that this negative portion would become like that. And it's between 0 and 6, so you'll see 3 is the halfway point. So if we just look at 1 half, which means we, we can find the area from 0 to 2, this piece here, and that would be just the integral of this guy. So let's do that. That's the first part. Um, this would be x cubed over 3 minus 6x squared over 2 plus 8x. That becomes 3, and i got to evaluate it 0 to 2. At 0, it's going to be 0, so we'll be left with 2 cubed over 3 plus 16. So this is 8 over 3. 12, 16, that's 4. Uh, this becomes 20 over 3. So that's just this piece. Now I have to find that one. And I can find the area of the same part, and then I will just uh, take the negative of that. Because if I find the area of this function, the parabola, then it would just be um, the negative of that. So I already have that result, so I wanted to use that plus 8x, and I'm going to go from 2 to 3. And so this is 27 over 3, 9, 9 plus 24 minus, I'm going to compute it at 2, so it's going to be that same number, 20 over 3, so this is uh, 33 minus 27, 6, so that's minus 2 over 3rd. Remember I said I had to take a negative to find this area. So that's 2 thirds. So these two, this piece, and that is 20 over 3 plus 2 thirds. That's 22 over 3. And remember, it's symmetric about x, uh, x equal to 3, which means I'll get the same sum on this side going all the way to 6. So all I have to do is to just double that, which is 44 over 3, and that is answer choice C.